Welcome to Critical Rocket. We're doing a custom mech build stream. Uh, for the uh, people who have sent in a couple of uh, messages asking for builds, uh, top of my head, one of the names is a local crime git uh, who wants me to run his particular Timberwolf build, and I was sent another one by the username that I didn't write down. I do apologize. Your build, uh, I'll, I'll put the name in the description uh, of the video. Uh, and for the title of the video, but uh, uh, you were asking me to build a Vulture B and an Ebon Jaguar C. Uh, so I thought I'd go with the, the close-up Ebon Jag build, so this is quite interesting. Uh, uh, it's, it's a high alpha, um, but uh, apparently this shouldn't overheat as a build. So it's a Streak 6 uh, in each shoulder, a Streak 4 in each arm, and two LB5s. Uh, so yeah, very very close up uh, striker build. There. Um, I assume ECM is going to play a bit of a uh, bit of a part there uh, with people basically knocking out your capabilities of your streaks. But I guess anyone who doesn't have uh, ECM cover is, is in for a lot of pain. Uh, the Vulture build uh, you'll see in a bit. Uh, that is a exclusively long range support build, so that'd be quite interesting uh, to see as well. It could be quite high heat, but it should be able to do a lot of fucking damage. So, uh, I, I was planning um, running, let's see, maybe two or three drops with each build, depending on how this goes. Uh, if it's successful, then I'll do like a couple, because uh, it's all going to be based on time, really. I don't, I don't want this to run like massively long uh, going through the builds. So yeah, uh, Vulture B, Evan Jag C, we're just waiting, it's just Law Warrior folks, as usual. We're just waiting for the fucking thing to find a game. So we can actually see some gameplay. Uh, but if uh, you haven't been uh, in Mech Warrior for a few days recently, or if you haven't been um, checking out the website, although they do have the new news ticker now if you have been in game, but uh, for everyone who hasn't seen it, there's the Warhammer is now up as part of a uh, early access. Well, say early access. It's it's a pack like the Marauder was. Uh, Twenty dollars for the base, forty dollars for the collectors, with an additional fifteen dollar uh, on top. Um, asking price for the hero variant. Uh, this this hero variant is Natasha Kerensky's uh, Black Widow uh, Warhammer, which comes with some nice. Uh, Starly gear attack, so hers has an XL engine and ERPPCs and pulse lasers and stuff like that. Rather than the standard uh, PPCs and normal mediums and standard engines, so yeah, hers will obviously be a bit special. It comes with all the other bonuses that uh, usually, usually come with these packs, so you get like some premium time, some cockpit items, a few modules for early, um, early adopters uh, will get a few bonus mods and uh, camo schemes and stuff, so yeah. Uh, no idea of uh, release dates. I suspect it will probably be December 1st, the same as the Marauder, or at least somewhere around that release date. I wouldn't be surprised if both mechs drop at the same time, so if uh, if you if you think the queue to get into a match is bad now, wait until there's everybody running heavy mechs at the same time, <laughs> trying to get into the game so they can play with their new Marauders and Warhammers. Oh, it what, always has to be River City, doesn't it? You can, can't catch a fucking break. How does it get... Caustic. I would have. I would have had Caustic. I would have had Crimson. Uh, I would have been happy with River City. Oh, sorry, uh, not, um, Frozen City. Um, Forest Colony. But no, no. It has to be the tight confines of River City where streaks go to die. <laughs> it's a terrible start point. <laughs> Got in. In the end. Right, so... Nikolai Maltus. He's like the... I don't know. I'm not quite sure, but it's like, maybe he's a relation to Nikolai Malthus. But, you know, they had to change the spelling, maybe copyright issues, who knows. Some uh, other names here. Cannon on legs, that's a good one. I like that one. What else have we got? Anti Citizen 10. Nine points behind uh, Gordon Freeman there. Alright, I'm not taking the piss, but any one of those guys will outclass me in this thing. 
always bear in mind the disclaimer here is that I am shit. So, uh, it's not that the build is bad, it's that I'm bad. So, yeah, if I do badly in this, it's not necessarily because the build sucks, okay? Just, just bear, you know, bear with me. Keep that in mind. Just this mic a bit in, get us a bit closer. There we go, that might be better. Adjust your volume accordingly. Ah, oh, shit. Weapon groupings. Bop, bop, bop. I always love the fact it drops you facing a wall. Let's see, so if we put the lime in the coconut. No, uh, ah, shit, rock. Um, right, that's it. Simple build. 90 shots for the LV5, 200 missiles. Two ECM mechs to cover me. I'm gonna go around the far side of this rock because you always get players and just decide to stop. I was like, oh, hold on, I gotta check my emails. I was like, no, don't stop directly in front. Boom. 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 Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I don't really want to stand directly behind him, he's just going to get sniped to buggery. And to be honest, this, this build does rely entirely on getting up close and personal. Hopefully some little light mech will run up and we'll be all like, <laughs> I'm gonna just streak his ass. Well, that Hellbringer's brave. Or we're just confusing it for stupidity. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why we're going over here. There may be some music in the background. <laughs> the room I'm in is shared. You may hear background noise. YouTube, please don't don't copyright strike me for music being played in the background. Ford the river. I oh, know that was a question, not a, not a battle cry. If you didn't hear music in the background, then just think I'm insane. Maybe it's the music in my head. Although that might be copyrighted as well, I gotta be careful. Alright, well me and me and this guy across the river. Everyone else is just kinda sat back having a having a mojito or something. No. What are we gonna do, Templar Latham? You want we should kill the kid? No, we should do. Oh, oh shit, he fucking did! He fucking did! Templar Latham just lit that guy up. Target acquired. He, he, he didn't see that coming. Well, they're all they're all pushing around that way, so I I think we might be able to sneak up on somebody here. Ah, look at that! 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 Oh fuck! Let's do them. Oh god, it's a banshee. That's not good. Ooh, hide behind the building. Oh god, now he's got another friend. Who's a bit nearer? It's a Victor! Hello Victor! I might be able to give you L L L LRM locks team. Oh Christ, let's just run past there. And then fuck him up with streaks! Ah oh, damn he's dead. Target acquired. I mean the key the key factor there was um, that I, I contributed visually. New oh. target acquired. As a mad dog. At least a stop mad dog. Which means he's hot. Oh, oh. Can we ruin his fucking day? Ah, I contributed. Ooh, contribution. Ah, you missed. Well, apparently you hit. Fuck you, game. Go, 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 go. Oh. Fucking building. Whoa, 
warning, incoming missile. It's always annoying when you hear that. Ah. New target acquired. <laughs> Mr. Support. Oh, some of my missiles hit the wall, but it's okay. Because he's he's just putting round after round after round into that building. That suits me down to the ground. New oh, target. Have we got acquired. here? Hello? Have we got here then? Ah, he's kind of out of range. Oh, he's nearly dead though. Oh, I should have fired those streaks. New target. Okay. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Jesus! Can we put? Can we push in on them now? Is that like New a thing we can do? No, oh, I can't see. I don't target think I. Destroyed. Yeah, I don't. I couldn't fire streaks at that target. Acquired. New target acquired. Oh god. Incoming. shot in the back now. Ow! I thought I was being shot in the back. Oh, it's no damage. To the, well, to the rear, I mean. Maybe it was uh, friendly missiles? I'm not quite sure. Is that... Target yeah, destroyed. the enforcer's got him. Oh, what am I doing? There's a mech there. It's an adder. Target it was an adder! Ow! Ow! Missile. Fuck. Oh, there he is. Oh, you're going down. Target acquired. Oh, Target it's... Oh. Destroyed. oh, fuck's sake. Getting all like, you know, riled up, ready to kill something. It's dead before I get there. I got that adder though, that was good. Oh shit. Target acquired. Jagermag. Jagermag. Right mate. Yeah, you're alright, right. Missiles to the face! Ow! More missiles. Crit. I need to crit. Crit his arms off. Yes. Yeah, I used my ammo, but oh, it was worth it. Target acquired. Miss links. Target destroyed. Ah. Nikolai Maltus got him. The rocket says Dan Cash. Hello, Dan Cash. Um, 07. Ooh, salute. Right, so match score of 300 with 2 kills, 5 assists, 451 damage. Yeah, this this build's pretty good. Uh, at least, I, I think it, in a situation where all the enemy uh, conveniently split apart and allow me to get into a nice urban environment uh, to use uh, as cover between shots. Uh, we're going to do another drop in that, see whether that was just a fluke. Yeah, I think probably the only thing that the build probably suffers from is its ammo. Um, two tons doesn't seem like a lot uh, for a what's that streak twenty? Is that right? No, two two sixes plus two fours. Uh, yeah, yeah, streak SRM twenty, which is really good damage, but. Yeah, uh, you could probably reduce the armor a bit. You could probably reduce the armor by a ton and stick in another ton of streak ammo. The LB fives are okay, I suppose. The LB fives chew through ammo really quickly, anyway. Search warrior. Du, du, du. Yeah, 
If you haven't already, remember to uh, check out the Battletech Kickstarter. I'm not under Hairbrain Schemes employ for this plug. If I was, I'd be making money off it. Nope. Just uh, go check it out. It's um, pretty cool. They've already blitzed through their first um, stretch goal. We've got single player campaign in the game now. That's pretty nice. We've got extra, we've got vehicles, and we've got some uh, famous mech regiments to fight. Now we've got the Eridani and the uh, Sword of Light. Um, I think by the end of, well probably by the beginning of next week, that we'll have the, the voice acting in the single player campaign. But if the Kickstarter campaign reaches 1.85 million, we'll have a, a complete open-ended uh, single-player campaign instead, so procedurally generated missions and the ability to uh, sort of pick and choose your contracts and what house you want to serve with and stuff, so that'd be quite interesting. Because <laughs> having a, a proper Battletech game that gives you sort of infinite replayability and, and developing your uh, your pilots and, and upgrading your mechs and getting new ones to salvage and stuff would be pretty fun. Not like the single player campaign probably isn't going to be fun as it is, but it would be nice that once you finish that story you've then got, you can just keep playing and keep doing your own thing. Oh, we got him. We got, oh, Viridian Bark. Ah, oh, come on game. Bah. Ah. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Someone's someone coming over. Oh, he's, he's bowing apologetically. It, you probably didn't even hear the music, but it did scare him. It was kind of funny. What? What are you here for? What? He's apologising. Sorry, Mark. No, get away. Get away from the microphone. Sorry. You're not allowed near the microphone, Mongo. Hello, Mom. No, Hello. Mongo. No. Ah. Bad. Ah. Get away from her. Right, sorry about that. It's the local uh, house servant. Sometimes he, he thinks he has the right to be on the stream. Shaking his fist defiantly at me. Right, let's see. Ready and bog. Off we off we go to the Viridian bog now. I mean, the reason it's slow to get into a match is because all of these builds I'm doing today are heavies, and obviously the problem with all heavies is the new mech that came out is a heavy. So there's lots of heavies, and heavy max are the most popular on the, on the uh, on the search list. There seems to always be more people playing heavies anyway, even when there aren't new uh, heavy max out. I, I blame this mech personally, the Hellbringer. It's too good at its job. It really is. It's an ECM capable clan heavy mech. Yeesh. You can see where the where the Warhammer. Um, influences were on the Hellbringer though. You, you can just see the basic shape with the curved arms at the elbows and the the missile pack and the light and the ba the same basic shape. But that is lit literally that's all it is. It's uh, it's just a clam warhammer. It was although it was a it was a much maligned uh, mech. It wasn't really accepted widely by the clans. Um, I think it was a short term uh, like a quick fix mech that they had to that one of the clans had to build uh, with very short notice and limited uh, supplies, uh, but that's what they came up with and uh, it was surprisingly popular. That's the thing with the, I, what, what I don't, I don't like the clans, I like the clan max as in they look cool and there are some really nice designs out there, I just don't like the, the clan I just don't understand why they went with this like Native American Bushido thing. Like the clans are all fucking idiots. Apparently, they'll fall for the most basic of traps. Um, that they're, they're just like a really dull, bland enemy for the for the BattleTech universe. They achieve very little, in my opinion, other than they just give a load of players who want super powerful stuff, super powerful stuff. I mean, on the tabletop, I'm not talking about Mech Um and they just ruined it all with you had this cool feudalistic setting in the inner sphere and these like nobles and basically like knights and nobles sort of 
fight, uh, fighting each other to gain power and prestige. And then you just introduce these like super powered godlike uh, mech warriors with their super powered tech. And the next thing is, it's it's just boring. Target acquired. And this is this is why I wanted to do another round because when you're under ECM, the streaks become completely useless. That's that's the main issue. I, I think a, a beagle probe would probably serve this uh, build better. Maybe I missed it, uh, but if you were going to run this build, I would probably um, put on the beagle uh, probe uh, to give yourself uh, the ability to cut through a sing at least a single target TCM cover. And I, the other thing is that I need to get close. Ah, fuck. I don't want to block somebody and get them killed. I don't want to ruin their, their game, you know. New target acquired. Yeah, this this isn't going to go as well. I don't I don't know. It could also be a very st um, static team that don't generally want to go in for the fight. They seem a bit more ranged focused. Or they they seem a bit more camp focused. Uh, look like that. Oh. Me and that panther, we just keep running into each other. New target acquired. Largely by accident. No. Ah, that stalk, that misery just got the kill on that. Uh, although I might actually. Ah, uh, no. There we go. And that'll ruin his day. No one wants to get hit by that many New streaks, do they? Acquired. When it hits, it's a terrifying uh, sort of New target punch. Acquired. You know. New target acquired. Left critical Locking on is the problem. New target acquired. Yeah, I think that was the other problem I had. I don't know why the Inner Sphere needed uh, this like ultimate threat in the form of the clans. It just seemed like a bit of a unnecessary addition to a world that was already pretty interesting to begin with. And you give these, you go, oh, we have these mysterious invaders from beyond the rim. Uh, it's like, okay. New acquired. Cool beans and everything, guys, but really, is there a reason for this? Uh, oh, right, well, um, that's all my weapons gone. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so I mean, even then, I, I still did close to 400 damage and got a kill. So it's not bad. As I said, I would probably. I'm sorry, I'm going to quit this because I'm going to switch to one of the next now. Uh, I'm. I would definitely put Beagle Probe in there because you know if you if you get isolated by a, like a light with ECM or something, then it's it's really going to ruin his day. So uh, next up, we had the Vulture. Uh, this is the one with the sort of support build. Uh, so this is uh, LRM twenties with Artemis and two PPCs. So yeah, high damage, uh, focused entirely on sitting back and uh, blasting and spraying with missiles. I really like the Vulture. I actually like the Vulture more than the Timberwolf. Oh, Mad Cat! Uh, it's a great looking mech. It's such a simple, straightforward build uh, with you know two. The two ER lasers, um, large and mediums in each arm, and then the two LR and twenties. It's there's no messing around. You, you don't have to like figure out any specific tactics. You know what you're gonna do with this mech. Uh, compared to, I don't know. I always found the the sort of Mad Cat was a bit jack of all trades sort of style because it had the ER larges and it had the pulse laser and it has the machine guns and it has the LRMs and so it's obviously built to sort of engage at all ranges. And it's very effective. Again, tabletop, it's it's a beast. Uh, an MWO, obviously, any of that, all of that character and stuff is immediately taken out the second people just start pulling bits out and putting different weapons in. And uh, they they sort of cease to be what they once were as a variant. So I mean, for instance, that um, that Eben Jag C, which is obviously meant to be a uh, sort of support mech with its L Ultra AC2s at range and the LRM15s with a couple of SRMs for, for short range protection. And 
that's that's the idea in the build. It's a it's a range support Mac. Um, but obviously, as soon as you stick in the Streak Sixes and the LB Fives, it suddenly becomes and not an Eben Jagger. It becomes something else, <laughs> which is mainly the problem I, I sort of have with uh, MWO. Which is why I'm kind of happy that the BattleTech Kickstarter is uh, going to give us a more tabletop experience. Um, there will be customization though in the BattleTech game. Uh, when that's released, it'll probably be next year, I, as far as I know. Probably this time next year, it won't surprise me. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not sure of the level of customization, but I assume you can make your own builds in that as well. I think that's always been a, a prime part of the online uh, sort of player aspect of uh, Battletech. Uh, at least the computer games anyway. I, don't know, I just I just like the little the little character that comes through with each build, each variant, each mech. That's why I'm loath to mess with them. Plus, it's a challenge. It's a nice challenge, you know. It's uh, you know, if if you're given a fire, if you decide to take a fire starter and you keep it with its its stock loadout, you know, challenge yourself. Like, see see if you can adapt and come up with a new playstyle rather than just going for what everyone else goes for with the, mo the most efficient, like small pulse lasers. Because everyone's doing that. Everyone's running the same thing. It's kind of boring, isn't it? In the long term. And if you're in a, if you're in a competitive guild, I can understand why you're doing it because you you have to remain. Uh, on the cutting edge of, of the builds as they come out and, and what's the most effective. But if you're just doing it for the... if you're just playing with a few friends or you're just playing to get some XP, just... yeah, just do it with... Um, with sometimes with the stock build. Just, yeah, challenge yourself. Have some fun. You know, customization doesn't... It, it, I find it funny that there's... MWO gives people a lot of this customization element, but it, that sort of goes out the window when, when one group or one person finds this really efficient build due to the quirks and stuff and the hard points, and then the customization just ceases to exist because everyone just runs it in this particular way. Because, well, PGI may as well just go, well, that's popular, so that's the only thing, that's the only version this mech you can buy from now on. This is it. You can't remove any of the hard points. You know, you can't take any guns out or change the engine or anything. That's why it's sometimes refreshing when you do come across uh, another custom build. You go, oh, that's a bit different, you know, because you're so used to seeing them. Like, like seeing a seeing a light mech that isn't running small pulse lasers these days or medium pulse lasers, and go, oh, wow, okay, that's a bit different. Uh, this this could be tricky for the LRMs, especially if they're under the platform. Depends what side of the map is on. Hmm, I think I start on the relatively bad side of the map here. At least for this Mac. Game's always slow to load everyone in. There we go. Just have to walk far off to do my weapon groups on the way. Reactor online. Like it will take a couple of seconds online. anyway. It's lit. It's Weapons two weapon types. Online. Got the heat. The heat in this is going to be horrendous. I think I'm going to keep to about 50% speed as well, just to see where the team goes as a whole. Let's just test out the heat. Yep, nearly 50% with both VR PPCs firing. I could probably get one alpha out of that and then back up. Does anyone know what that is? What is that? What is it for? 
Is it just like an executive toy or something? What the fuck? Oof. Was that... Was that someone shooting at us or was that just someone like dicking around with Gauss? Oh. Hello, Mr. Highlander. Hello. There can be more than one. Target oh, contact. Acquired. Looks like it's the tunnel. The tunnel of love. Wow. Epic fail. I missed. Missed so badly with those PPCs. If I was a Curitan pilot, I've just uh, I've just dishonoured my uh, my ancestors. How badly I was aiming that! I've brought shame to my family. Oh no, can't get a lot for more than three seconds. Oh oh, can we? No. He's got an AMS, but oh, is he inside the tunnel? I can't tell. Yeah, I think he's in the tunnel. He's not in the tunnel. Right? Thunder, thunder, thunderbolt. Hey, no one wants to get hit with 40 missiles. New target acquired. Wow, I am I am really, really doing badly. New target acquired. They've got a lot of AMS, so give them that. Ah, oh, fucking clan LRMs always hitting people in the back. I really, I really don't like this minimum range New shit. New target acquired. New target acquired. Yeah, I'm now getting friendly fired. Yeah. I, mean, I don't blame him, but it's just annoying. New target acquired. Wow, oh, they've killed four of us already? Oh, this is, this isn't going to go well. New target acquired. Split by the rabbit. New target acquired. Oh, hello. Guys, there's a blackjack. I'm just having really terrible aim with these PPCs. New target acquired. This this is looking like a twelve nil roll. New target acquired. Ugh, there are no weak single targets. Almost blow his door so often. Don't deny that like the two PPCs don't do a lot of damage though when they hit. Warning. It's just Oh the heat. Oh, you see the see this small pulse laser shit. Sorry, but there's no there's no skill. There's no originality. Small pulses. Small pulse laser all the time. Boring. Boring gameplay. Oh god then. Oh it's reborn's all max, he's just gonna kill himself. I won't blame him. No, oh my god. Why? Oh, is he gonna shut down? Oh, thank god someone spotted him. What are you doing? Uh, I think that's the... That's the panther. Did they get the AFK block? Yeah, they must have, yeah. There's always one, isn't there? Oh, so he hung around so he could be the last to die? Is that what he did? Warning, incoming missile. Left arm no, you keep moving, they'll blow you up. Left no, someone killed him anyway. Because he couldn't, he couldn't even kill himself well.
All right. Well, I'm I'm not counting that as a as a proper test of that build because frankly, that was that was one of those pants on head teams. Um, you can't hold the firing line and apparently just get fucking annihilated straight off the bat. Plus, it did seem like there was a preponderance of uh, ECM on their side and less on that. I don't know, but it was one of those matches. When it's 12-0, you know there's an imbalance in the team. Like any first person shoot, when one team is just completely dominates, you know there's all the the matchmakers completely failed to um, to put together a, an equal team. And really, should there, should there be a uh, excuse for this now, since we have our pilot skill rating? Shouldn't be happening now, should it? Although my hopes of a match that's actually going to be quick. Oh, yay! My well, matchmaker actually worked. Okay. A hot map, so I'm definitely going to have to uh, chain fire these BBCs. So it's nice and open, so if anything's available for the LRMs, that's going to be useful. Let's have a look. Uh, there's a lot more clan tags on their side than there are on uh, my team, I think. Yeah, so six, seven. Yeah, five, including myself, seven on theirs. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Right, off we go. Sort of the heavy ones. Now, oh, for fuck's sake. So you didn't like getting hit. Like that at all. It's like the way he peeked back around to take another shot. Well, he's not aware that he's not actually damaging me with those pulses. Warning, incoming missile. Heat metal critical. Alright, uh, I gotta cool off. Warning, incoming missile. Just gonna stand still, it's 40 missiles for you mate. Oh, his CT is going to be very toasty. And he's down. Maybe, I'm not sure why he did that, maybe he thought his uh, team were a bit closer, or maybe assist him a bit more. Ah. I was really hoping I could hit him just to highlight him to the team. Watch out for that thunderbolt as well, his uh, wubbubs. Ooh, Direwolf. Three Ultra AC-20 Direwolf. Yeah, it's, it's high damage and everything, but it's too hot and too ammo reliant. Target acquired. There we go, liked him. That's what he deserves. That's what he deserves, mate! Yeah, 
that's him popped. Warning, incoming missile. And I've got I've got missiles incoming apparently. There's a UAV, Warning, that's why. Incoming missile. Ow! What the fuck? That wasn't him. Just Ow! Fuck! Fucking gas rifles. I I actually need to transition. because uh, I'm gonna be the first thing that gets hit once they come up behind us. Because I don't think the team are aware that they're all down there. New target acquired. Come on. Sweet game. New target acquired. New target acquired. New critical damage. Fuck's sake. Center torso damage. Left torso destroyed. Left arm destroyed. Right torso critical damage. LRM ammo destroyed. LRM destroyed. ERPPC destroyed. LRM ammo depleted. Ah. New target acquired. Ah, oh, my aim is terrible today. Right arm critical Well, I'm screwed. There's no one's no one's gonna kill the light mac. Uh, this fire star is just gonna jump over the wall and fucking pepper me now. Zeus. Oh, good artillery. Well, that, that one finished me off quick. There we go. <clears throat> that was a better routing anyway. 485 damage. Um... Uh, compared to the Evan Jack build, this isn't as fun. Uh, I don't think there's, as much, there's enough ammo, really, for the LRM-20s to function. And the PPCs are extremely hot. Um, one of the main problems with Ghost Heat. And uh, Clan PPCs in general. And if the spider... Just just give up spider. Spider, just, just shoot. Just, just fight them until you're dead, mate. Yeah, they liked you now, because she tried to run away. If you're the last person to light mech, don't dick around and run about the map, because you're not going to win, are you? Unless everyone on the enemy team has got a bright red CT and you've got okay armor. Outside of that, just fight until you're dead. You're just wasting everyone else's time. The winning team and the losing team. Right, so uh, the Vulture, I would say, is... Uh, Nah, it's a bit of a write-off. It, it's it's not as good. I mean, it's good damage, but it's just not as uh, effective. In my in my opinion, in my opinion. Remember, disclaimer: I am shit. Uh, so the last build I've got, I said, was from a local crime git. Now this is uh, a bit late. I do apologise for this. It is a Timberwolf, and um, this one is not too dissimilar from the normal prime variant. This is two medium pulses in each arm, uh, two machine guns, an ER large, and two LRM-10s instead of two LRM-20s. So it's kind of swapping around uh, weapons and changing a couple uh, to make a higher heat and higher sort of close range damage build. Uh, there's still some long range uh, potential in there with the ER large and the LRM, so it be interesting to see this how this one works.
I think it's got max armor and yeah, it's just yeah max armor. There's no uh, Artemis on it now. <laughs> Going back to that Vulture build, I think what I do is I take out the Artemis and use the extra. Uh, uh well, the Artemis just didn't really seem to. I, I would probably focus on ammo and dropping the PPCs for ER larges instead. Uh, for a start, there's not so much heat. You, yeah, you lose a bit of range, but at least you can have the ammo needed for the LRMs. <laughs> if you're going to play it as a pure range support build. Once again, we're in the clutches of Search Warrior. The filthy, 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 dirty Search Warrior. <laughs> when nothing you do can make it go any faster. There should be a mini game. That's what they should have. They should have a mini game. It's like with uh, who's that Pokemon? They should be like who's that Battle Mac? And you can just like click through and oh, it's Zeus. That's an enforcer. That's a that's a vulture. That's an atlas. You know, that, at least that'd be something to do while you wait. Make it so, Russ. Battletech Pong. Either side of the either side of your monitor. Boop, boop, boop. You're bouncing a PPC blast between. Uh, some kind of. Um, Maybe like Mech Warrior Minesweeper. Or, uh. What's that, what's that one called where you had the little paddle at the bottom of the screen? You had to bounce a bolt and smash away all the blocks. The blocks could be shaped, could be shaped like the MWO logo and you just bounce the little blocks around. Because I bet you could get a really high score with how long some of the search times are. Do, 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 boom. It resets every time you miss. Every time you don't bounce the paddle. No, uh, bounce the ball on the paddle. You get power ups and stuff. You get like the meta power up where like the paddle becomes like this just this like little this super extended paddle that just fires lasers constantly and it just destroys the logo and you win. Instantly you get like a times fifty points bonus and like a picture of Rust Bullock like giving you a thumbs up. And it says winners don't do drugs. Could do that. You have a Tetris minigame? Little blocks coming down. They're all the uh, different, you know, nice different gold blocks. Uh, the maybe the maybe it, uh, it takes like a snapshot of your screen and like you, you you maybe the idea of this one is you try and build the blocks to make your screen instead of the common. You fill like you make the image and then it like resets and then does it again. That'd be an interesting one. If you were really fucking bored. A little top-down isometric uh, arcade racer. You know, just go around the track with your light mechs. You know, little pixel art so runs around. You have to guide it around the course. If you're in a party, then it becomes a race, and like you're racing each other. Other search warrior-related uh, mini games could they add while you wait for a round? They could add an apology. That'd be a good one. We're sorry for the for the wait times. We're sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. Our operators are very busy at this moment. Please hold the line. Play a little tune. Do 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 do. They can have little uh, intermittent uh, messages in between where you think the person's just answered, and then it's like. We have new offers. Have you picked up the Marauder Origins pack? Do, 
do 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 Want to get more sea bills for your me for your max? Buy some premium time. Do 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 do. We have trivia things that come up while you're searching. I'll say like, um, remember remember collisions? Yeah, we do too. That's just it. Just ellipses that one off. Tip, single heat sinks are fucking useless. Ghost heat was a terrible idea. Quirks ruined the game. And so on and so forth. They can endorse other products of theirs. Transverse, coming! 2037. <laughs> Fucking Transverse. Oh my god, that was... That was both cringeful and hilarious at the same time. I feel sorry for everyone who worked on it and, and they came under all that flack, but my god, it was, it was the worst, worst time. Uh, in the company's history to have launched uh, a Kickstarter-esque crowdfunding campaign for a, a totally different game when this one still hasn't really reached the point it should have been at. Right, let's, uh, let's go with it. I don't know if I set my weapon script for this one. I probably... Oh, it, I did. Ooh. Oh, shit. Right, uh, do I want to go around the first... Oh, we do have an atlas with us. And, oh, okay. We're all turning around. I'm sticking with the Hellbringer. That old Hellbringer... One of my machine guns isn't on the weapon group for some reason, that's a bit strange. How much heat does this generate? Well, that is not bad. That's not terrible. Target acquired. Although I, I've, I've almost completely forgot how to play Macquarie, I've been waiting so long for a match. I could be a complete noob. Well, more of a noob than usual. Was the one waiting for a long time for a match? Go fuck yourself! Bong. That was a nice little sound, though, wasn't it? Bong. New target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. Yeah. Yeah, New large. New target acquired. I've got them locked, but there's no point in me firing my missiles because they won't reach them in time. New target acquired. There we go. He's firing his little LRMs. There they go. I do, so I don't like the hunchback with LRMs. It doesn't sit well with me. The hunchback should just be rocking a big fucking ballistic weapon and uh, taking people out like that. 
rather than New target acquired. hunting about with LRMs. That's, yeah, there you go. Here's a proper hunchback. I mean, even if he gets downed, he's going to cause you some trouble, you know? New Hello. Target acquired. A full PPC Banshee. And people thought the days of the full PPC mechs were over. New target acquired. Yeah, you don't want to get like pulse lasers and a locust. Ow, ow, ow. New target acquired. Warning incoming missile. You really just try and fire his lasers at point blank uh, sorry, missiles at that range. Oh, this is gonna be a meat grinder. I killed him. That's the nice thing about machine guns. You just hold down the button and focus on everything else you do. Still got three thousand rounds of ammo left. There we go. Right, he's not threatening him up. New target acquired. Although we are losing horribly now. Oh, come on, just let me eat your face. Ah. <clears throat> the fuck is this Stormcrow been? Uh, he's probably only just woke up, hasn't he? At least it was a fight. That's all you can ask for in the end. Sorry, mate. You're going to be shot from behind in every other direction at the same time. Yeah, stay zoomed. That'll help. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Full zoom, <laughs> hucking around, firing all your weapons at the same time. That's that's um, that helps. Oh wow. Uh, so uh, six forty-six damage. I did the most of my team. There were members of my team that did less than ten. There was a raven that did five. Uh, <laughs> although to be fair, there was a kit fox on our team that did five, and there was a hunchback that did eleven. So. There was there was a bit all over the show. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll do one more uh, in this Timberwolf, and then I'll uh, I'll leave it there. I think it's been two drops in each each mech. Then it's taken a bit longer than I expected, mainly due to the really fucking awful search times. Do, 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 do. Searching for a match in MechWarrior Online? Why not try MechWarrior Living Legends? Did 
Did you know you could play an entire tabletop game of Battletech in the time it takes to find a match in Mechor Online? Did you know an entire lance of Atlas mechs can be constructed in the time it takes to find a match in Mechor Online? Did you know that by the time you will find a match in Mecha Online, the clan invasion will be over? By the time you find the match, the next book in the Saga of a Song of Ice and Fire will be released. Do, 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 do. So this is the key difference in a lot of other free-to-play titles. If I boot up, say, War Thunder, I'll be in a match in about 10 seconds. Probably less. If I boot up Warships, I'll be in a match in less than 5 seconds. If I click Launch on MechWarrior, it can take 2 minutes! What the fuck? Is this the matchmaker just being really stringent? Is the population of the game really low? I don't know. I have no idea. We're not allowed to know how many players are actually in MechWarrior Online anymore. They used to have a player counter years ago. They took that out. Forest Colony. Let's have a look at this. There we go. I do not recognize any of these names off the top of my head. Nope. Nope, 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 not remembering any of them. <laughs> TBR, TDR, TBR, DRG. Really, you just said, let's get ready to rumble. Oh, God. Really? Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Follow the fatties. Okay. Right, well, I'll stick with that. Where are the fatties? Let's go find the fatties. Yeah, I'm facing the wrong direction on the map again.
go have a look at that. It's a jumper truck, a dump truck. It's weird texture over there. It's very glowy. Call first contact. Uh, we'll just type that out to you, mate. Oh no, the Warhawk is uh, Carlisle Death. Is, oh, let's get ready to rumble. Now, if it brings to, to mind, obviously, Bruce Buffer. Uh, well, not Bruce Buffer, but it brings up the uh, the guy who used to announce the box, obviously, the heavyweight boxing. WCW for some reason as well. Uh, I forget his name. Or, or fucking PJ and Duncan. Both are very bad. I'm not sticking my fucking head out there. You can get fucked. Dragon looking at himself. Oh, what's that? He's gonna go around the corner. Oh, what the... Yeah, Mackenzie's trying. You know, he's he's trying to sort of organise everybody, but it's not gonna work. No one's gonna report their death to uh, position. How many enemies were nearby? I still remember my Lance who's just stood out over by there on his uh, on his own on the water's edge in Hotel Eight. H-Line. H-Line and Golf 9, apparently. Looks like a raven doing that. UAV off above. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Uh -oh. That's one of the ECM Max down. Looks like they're camping that arch section. Yeah, they don't have any support to the right of that. Target acquired. So AMS like. Hmm, fairly non existent. So if that was yeah, it was an atlas.
new target acquired. Some odd behavior by this team. It's working for them though. I mean, they got a kill. some heat. Well, there we go, now, now they're starting to pick up uh, momentum. So it's an atlas that can take a kick in. Hmm. Both teams are quite static, so let's take a gamble. <laughs> well, I'm here, but I don't know if I can actually... Ah, oh, shit, I got spotted. A load of crap. I thought they'd all be facing one way. I oh, know, they actually have someone who knows what they're doing. New target acquired. Warning. Oh, the blaze of glory. <laughs> Imagine if a lance had actually gone around behind that probably would have done one, a lot of damage. Oh well, uh, yeah. Opinions on that is actually a decent Timberwolf build, uh, although I didn't really get much use at the LRMs, but the four medium pulses, yeah, they, they cause a lot of damage very quickly. Machine guns are very useful when you're at higher heat, and yeah, it doesn't overheat very quickly. You can actually get a good number of shots out of the pulses, so yeah, I'd, uh, I'd use that build again, um, if I was just derping around, yeah, uh, for me that, that worked quite well. So yeah, uh, I said I was going to leave it about that, the stream's gone for a bit now, so uh, thanks for watching everybody, and uh, have a good weekend, Critical Rocket, signing out.